What's happening everyone? My name is Alex and welcome back to a new review. For today we have a new mini PC from Billing called the AP34 Pro. So with this one we get the Intel N3450, we get 6 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage and the device is running Windows 10, the home edition. You can find this for between $180 to $220, but like anything else it depends when and where you buy it from. This mini PC is mostly made out of metal, so the top, the size, the back, everything is pretty much made out of metal, but it doesn't look anything spectacular, so it looks just like all the other mini PCs that we've seen in the past. So on the right hand side we have the slot for an SD card and that could be useful because we only have about 64 gigs of internal storage and we also have four USB 3 ports. On the back we have the power button, we also have the port for the power adapter, we have two HDMI ports and that's great mostly if you want to connect two monitors to this mini PC. We have the network adapter port, a 3.5mm audio jack and this means that uh, you can connect some headphones or some speakers to the mini PC and lastly we have a little reset button. And moving to the other side there we have an external Wi-Fi antenna and some holes so the heat can dissipate easier. So this mini PC has dual band Wi-Fi and I checked the speeds over Wi-Fi and over a wired connection. The speeds that I got were very very good so no complaints about the Wi-Fi connectivity for this device. And since we are talking about connectivity we also have Bluetooth connectivity and that's great mostly if you want to connect some Bluetooth headphones or a Bluetooth mouse or a Bluetooth keyboard or anything like that. As I mentioned earlier, this comes with 64 gigs of internal storage, but realistically Windows is going to take about 25 gigs out of that 64 gigs, so you're only going to be left out with about 35 gigs of internal storage, and the speeds for that internal storage aren't the greatest out there either. However, if you take this apart, and it's fairly easy to take this apart, we have four screws at the bottom and uh, three more screws um, inside, then you can install um, a M2 SSD, so you can technically expand the internal storage for this very, very easily. And that um, SSD slot sits right next to that um, heatsink for the CPU. That heatsink is also bigger than most other billing mini PCs that I've seen in the past and I've also noticed that this one doesn't get as hot as um, the other one so it's definitely better designed than uh, previous mini PCs that I've seen from billing. Alright so for a very quick unboxing this comes in a very similar box to what we've seen in the past for other billing mini PCs and inside the box you're gonna find the power adapter. This is the same power adapter that we've seen in the past and we also get two HDMI cables. One of them is very small and the other one it's a bit longer and there is also a little metallic mount so you could technically mount this behind the TV or behind the monitor. Since this is running a full copy of Windows 10 the home edition you have access to everything uh, that Windows has to offer including updates and of course the Windows Store. So this is basically just like any other PC running Windows 10. I've also done a couple of benchmark tests on this because I wanted to have a better idea about its performance so I had um, Passmark going on it and the Geekbench 4 and the scores that I got on those are actually a bit lower than other mini PCs that I've seen in the past um, using the Intel N3450 CPU. Now surprisingly enough even though those scores are actually lower this uh, mini PC performs better and it feels faster than most other mini PCs that I tried in the past. So those benchmark results aren't exactly accurate. Since we have 6 gigs of RAM available, this is also pretty good for multitasking and running multiple applications at the same time and that's great mostly if you're watching like a YouTube video and you're working on a paper using Word or anything like that. Opening new apps is also done in a speedy enough time, I mean it's not going to be as fast as a, a more powerful mini PC that um, you'd buy for like a thousand dollars, but it's fast enough for this particular mini PC. It can also handle multiple tabs running in the browser at the same time. Now you may notice a bit of a delay mostly when you're switching up in between tabs but um, after the page loads um, it does work much better and overall once again for a mini PC with the Intel N3450 I think that it performs more uh, than okay. I even tried a bit of editing with it, of course it wasn't video editing, uh, it was just a picture editing and I wasn't uh, using a big program like Photoshop, I was using a smaller program that I downloaded from the Windows Store, but um, it's possible to edit pictures with it. Now there is a bit of a delay here and there, mostly when you're changing colors and stuff like that, but um, if you're patient enough with it, this should be able to help you out with editing and stuff like that. 
I've also tried Netflix on it because I imagine that most people are going to use this as a media center and uh, I downloaded the Netflix app from the Windows Store and uh, Netflix works without any lag, without any delays or anything like that. Now, whenever you're scrolling through the list of movies and TV shows, there is a bit of a, a lag right there and a bit of a delay. But um, once you open a movie or a TV show or whatever um, you're watching, there is no lag or uh, no delay and uh, no buffering um, either. Since we are talking about this being used as a media center, of course, you're going to have to connect some hard drives, some external drives to it because you may have movies and TV shows on those um, external drives. So, of course, I tried two external drives and uh, they did work without any issues. Now, keep in mind that one of those external drives had um, external power, so it really depends on what hard drive you're using because some may work, some may not work without external power. Now, the Intel N3450 wasn't exactly designed for 4K files at 60 frames per second. So, with a lot of mini PCs using that CPU, 4K files at 60 frames per second don't do that well. And I was kind of expecting the same for this one. But um, with this one, actually, 4K files at 60 frames per second work without any issues. No lag, no nothing. So, if you're um, planning to watch anything 4K at 60 frames, 50 frames, or 30 frames per second, this one will do great for those. And I've also tried other files and I'm gonna let you guys watch so you can see which files did good and which files didn't. But um, yeah, pretty much all the files I tried to did, did perform very, very well. Gaming it's also possible with this, but of course you're gonna have to limit your expectations because this is definitely not a powerhouse. So I played a couple of games that I downloaded from the Windows Store, one of them was um, Asphalt Extreme and the other one was Hill Climbing or something. Anyways, both games did perform um, good, but these are very light games, so games like that will do good. And uh, if you're planning to play some heavier games, yeah, those ones aren't gonna do that great. But I'm gonna let you guys watch for a bit so you can see how it did for those two games that I played. And it's time to conclude this video. So this is one of the best mini PCs that I got to try using the Intel N3450. So if you need a mini PC for Microsoft Office, a mini PC to watch some YouTube videos, to watch some Netflix and stuff like that, this will do great. But if you need a PC for gaming, this is not going to be great for gaming. But for anything else, for um, browsing the internet, on writing emails, and pretty much everything that you're going to do, like light usage, this will do more than okay. 
All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.